Hey you guys, it's video time. I know I've been a little while with this one, but I've been mega, mega busy this week. So I have brought you this new set. Um, it is Angie from Angel Glitter Mats has sent me a few things to try out um, that she's not listed yet. So people don't actually know that she sells them. Um, so I've incorporated, incorporated, incorporated some of it into this video. Um, and they turned out stunning. I am in love. Yeah. So we're going to start off with CJP's um, Snow White on the tip and we're going to ombre that back and then I'm going to put in Slush Fairy as my um, pink, which is a CJP as well. It's also a new one. Um, I'm sculpting these. I've already done all my prep work. So I've pushed back the cuticles, cleansed the nails, um, removed all the dead skin off the nail plate, dehydrated and Prior to them, so yeah, now I'm just shaping the nail um, with my brush, being all faffy like I usually am, um, and then yeah, this is just going to be an ombre. So while I'm faffing around with that, I just want to say hello, hola, welcome to all of my new subscribers, you are all so beautiful, thank you for your support as well, like literally I am overwhelmed. Um, I also want to say hi to Mike, aka Stubsy, hello, <laughs> and welcome to my channel, I've heard you like nail videos so I thought I'd say hello to you as well. Um, right, so the next one is going to be a full white nail. So yeah, a full white nail next, and on the white nail we're going to use some little pretty petals. But I'm just going to let you watch me apply the white first, um, and then I'll come back to you in a second. So yeah, I'm having fun here, right? So I'm just going to tell you that I went off for a break. Um, between this voiceover and uh, it weren't really a break I did three sets of nails and I've come back and now I've started choking because of the amount of dust I've consumed so you'll have to excuse me <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm just trying to finish a friggin voiceover <laughs> that's all I want to do with my life um, okay so I'm applying the white there I am slightly out of shot because I was trying to also use this for Instagram um, and did it in portrait mode but it didn't work out so it messed up my video big time so I've gone in there with my second bead and pulled it over and it's dried pretty quickly but it's okay because I will cover the ridge with another bead we don't worry about these things no we don't we just go in and we fix it as quickly as possible before the client sees Luckily on this occasion, the client was my sister, so who cares? <laughs> so these little beauties that I'm applying here, this is what Angie sent me. She's got some hidden stuff that she's not even listed yet. Um, and she just let me use them, see what I could do with them. Um, so these petals, when I got them in the bag, I thought, what am I going to do with these? And then I thought, petals, I know, I'm going to make them into a flower. So I did the white background deliberately, so then it'll show off the petals. And oh my God, this nail, like, it's just to die for. I love it. So all I've done is gone straight in on the wet white and placed some of the petals in there. And then you can see me brushing a little bit of my clear over the top. And that's literally just to hold them in place a little bit more for when I cap it off. Um, because things like this, they can move a bit because you can see that they stick up, but my white is really, really thin. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing there. I'm just brushing clear, um, clear, acrylic over the top sticking my petals down onto it and then popping a little bit more clear over the top um, to hold them there until I'm ready to cap and when I cap I'm going to do it in one big fat bead so yeah so since doing this video with this particular nail I have had a lot of people ask me where I got them from Angel Glitter Mats I will leave a link below and they are £1.30 for a bag and you get loads of them she also I found out has them in lilac so I'm gonna get some lilac ones because this is like it's a doddle for us new nail techs like doing a beautiful nail that looks like a shed load of work went into it and actually it didn't it was that easy that's how easy that nail was and it looks amazing like once i've got the top coat on this nail amazing so worth it love it get some of them one pound 30 are you kidding me so 
So I'm just applying my pinching tool there because it gives you a little bit more structure and um, yeah, it gives you a nice C curve as well. And then I'm going back in with my Snow White and I'm going to do another ombre with Snow White and Slush Fairy, the same as the one before. Then I will come back and see you again. Okay, confessions of a nail tech time. I should make this look easy and a doddle and it's blah, 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 well cool. Look at them forms. How annoying. They were ugh, so infuriated, like literally just kept coming unstuck. Like they have not stuck. None of the new roll are sticking. You are stickers, for God's sake, just stick, stupid. Oh, so annoying. Anyway. So we're on the pointer finger. I'm going in here with a clear base. Um, the reason for that is we're going to do um, still an ombre, um, but down the center, we're going to put some little, I think they're called sequins, iridescent little shimmery chunky sequins. They were quite chunky actually, and I should have probably used them in a different way, but I managed it and I like to make my life hard. So why not? That's what I did. So while that finger is setting, I am going to do the thumb, which is just another plain ombre. I'm going to bore you by talking you through it, because, I mean, why? Why would I? Apparently I'm obsessed with ombre. I think she might be right. My daughter did say I'm obsessed with ombre, and I certainly am. Um, <coughs> so yeah, it's just another ombre. I'm going to take a break while I take a choke, and I'll be back, hopefully. Okay, so these little sequins, these are pastel sequins from Angel Glitter Mats. I feel like <sighs> ombre in them, like feathering them up the nail would have probably been a better idea than this. They did look awesome down the center, but it took some time. They was like 
no, Karen, this is not what we want to do. We don't want to get packed into this blob of acrylic and sit in the center. I want to go everywhere. But I was like, no, you are going to sit in the center and I'm going to make you stay there. So, so that's what I did. <laughs> I made them stay in the centre. They were a bit runaway, they were a bit chunky, but um, with the clear, it did sort of help me manoeuvre them around a little bit. And I packed them in as tight as I could. Looking back, I'd have probably put like a colour underneath them to block it off, but they look like, when you look at the nail now, they look like they're just floating down the centre like a lava lamp. So it actually has a really cool effect and they are dead, dead shimmery as well. So packing them in was well worth it. Hard work, but it was well worth it. So all that's left to do with this now is I'm gonna cap it off um, with the clear and then once that's dried, I'm gonna file down either side and make that line a little bit straighter because it's clearly not straight. Um, and then I'm gonna ombre uh, pink and white down the sides of that nail. Now that did become a little bit of an arse, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it was a bit chunky and wide by the end of it. My sister has got quite wide nails anyway, but it was wider than it needed to be. Um, but after filing, it was perfectly fine. I haven't left the other filing in um, just because it was already a long video. And my other videos seem to be getting longer and longer. Um, but yeah, once I've done that, I am going to top coat and I will leave you the finished product and hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, and I will be back very, very, very soon to see you all again. I love you all. Bye. Thank you.